So the bad news that we just got for iPhone 12 actually comes with some good news for iPhone 13. I know, that doesn't make any sense. Hang on, I, I will explain. I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true, I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech FPT. The show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Guys, girls, I'm sorry, we are on the struggle bus. It has been such a slow news cycle lately, my god. So, you know, thanks for hanging in there with me while I pretty much make the same episode every day. What? You know it's true. Listen, luckily for all of us, things are gonna start picking up here real, real soon. I got a bunch of stuff coming. We're entering leak season again, my boys. Uh, so, uh, open it up. Cause I'm, I'm gonna put leaks inside you. What? Okay. We're, yeah, we're just gonna, okay. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. I uh, forget. I actually forget. I don't know what the first story is, hang on. Ah, yes, there's a mysterious thing. Okay, I, now I remember. So earlier this week, Apple filed their latest M1 Max in the Bluetooth SIG database. Now, yes, this includes like the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, but also, a mysterious B2002 device. Now, this is not the first time we've seen this. Actually, back in October last year, that's the first time we saw this very mysterious device listed in the personal computer category. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> Well, as far as I know, at least according to my sources, this very mysterious B2002 device is the M1 chip. Yep, like the, the, the actual chip itself. That's what it is. The mysterious thing, it's that. Now, to give credit where credit is due, Mac Rumors did go ahead and in their article, they mentioned that this was a possibility, not that they were sure, but that Apple has done it before. They've listed actual chips in the databases. Uh, and this is um, this is me backing them up. Yes, according to my sources, that's exactly what this is. So yeah, sorry to disappoint you. It's not some like crazy new device that we haven't heard of yet. Uh, we do have new devices coming very, very soon, new products coming very soon, but the thing that the B2002 mysterious thing isn't one of those things, sorry. However, speaking of products that we don't have yet, but are definitely coming and coming very soon, <sighs> AirTags. You might remember late last year, the internet, like, I think it was somewhere in October, the internet, including me, everyone thought we were getting AirTags finally. But also in October, that's when I reported that AirTags had actually been pushed back to around March of 2021. And if you're part of the Toilet Squad, you watch this show often, you've heard me say a lot throughout the last few weeks that AirTags, at least from what I know, would be coming sometime around spring. Well, here we are. I did one final check with a source that is very close to the situation, and they have confirmed that AirTags are in fact launching in March. <coughs> cough, cough, along with some other stuff. So stay tuned. I should have a full rundown of products and everything to expect coming up. I just want to talk to a few more people, double, triple check before I give you a final rundown of products to expect because I don't want to report anything to you and then be wrong because being wrong sucks, it sucks a bunch of honky donkey donkey. All right, listen, this is a tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. For only three bucks a month on a yearly plan, you get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. They're already offering 62% off right now with one month free, and you, because you're a front page tech viewer, can subtract an additional 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. My challenge to you is that even if you're already using a VPN right now, if you like this show, if you trust me, click the link down in the description right now to give WeVPN a try. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. Okay, 
So we're gonna talk about iPhone 13, but before we do that, I feel like we gotta add some context. In fact, we definitely need to add some context. So first, we gotta talk about iPhone 12, specifically iPhone 12 mini. So according to an analyst from JP Morgan, <laughs> why is that so funny to say JP Morgan? Sources tell them that Apple is cutting production of the iPhone 12 mini in Q2 of this year, meaning that they literally won't be making any new ones for the rest of the year. To be clear, they're going to continue selling the phone, like it's not going away. You'll still be able to buy it, but apparently they think that they've already made enough to fit those demands. So if you buy one, they're just gonna take one from the old pile. Of course, if things change after a while and suddenly everyone wants the 12 mini, they'll be able to kick up another round of production. It'll be fine. But for now, apparently they don't need to. They said the 12 mini did so poorly that it only accounted for about 5% of iPhone sales in January, which is uh, rough. Like that's so rough that I'm pretty sure when the iPhone 12 mini's parents dropped it off at school, they actually dropped it off like a block over just so the kids didn't know that they were its parents. Like, you know, that one son that you have that you just can't be proud of. Like, I mean, he's still your son, right? But he's a little, you know? <laughs> what am I what am I saying? Can we just can, can I retract all of that before they cancel me? After all, I'm sure if it was a Samsung Galaxy device, Samsung would be thrilled with these numbers. But uh Tim Cook? Yeah, look at look at him. Just look at him. He's not. He, he that is not a happy man. Mm -mm, nope. It's just so mad. Anyway, the point of this whole thing, does this mean that they will not be making an iPhone 13 mini? Actually, Hang on. What I've been told is that there will, in fact, be a 13 mini or a 12S mini. You see, when it comes to smaller phones, especially for the year 2020, the year the 12 mini came out, I'm told that the demographic that wanted smaller iPhones just bought the iPhone SE. I mean, why not? It's just about as small and costs much less. But either way, my sources are saying that Apple is still committed to making a follow-up 13 mini even if they just have to make less of them than they originally planned to. It will also help that there is no iPhone SE planned for this year, at least the current size iPhone SE. If we get an update to that, it will actually be an iPhone SE Plus, making room for a 13 mini, uh, literally, cause small. So yeah, even though we got some bad news for that iPhone 12 mini, it comes with some good news from my sources who know th who know things uh, that Apple is still committed to that form factor. We will get a 13 mini. Uh, so yeah, we're still getting form factors, still smaller phones for now. And that is the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, you didn't. Hit the like button if you hate my stupid face. Hit the dislike button if you're new here. Subscribe, I'm, I gotta go. We gotta end this, like, right now.